Good morning everybody, this is Patrick from WP Builder Helper and today I have a quick video on something that's bothering me, something that's brand new. You may or may not know this, but if you use AdSense on your elements or websites, there is a problem. I just noticed this the other day and I reached out to Elementor support and I was a little bit scared to discover what I had found out. But basically, if you're not familiar, AdSense is a network of ads run by Google that they will put on your site. And generally, you make money off of these ads as people click on them or view them or anything like that. A lot of affiliate sites use ads. Um, some people would say that ads are garbage to begin with. They just clutter the internet. But regardless of that, there's a number of sites. I would be shocked if I, if there was no one in Elementor that didn't use ads. I mean, people are going to use them for their websites. Well, guess what? Elementor's got a little problem. So in this text from support, they say, Hi Patrick, we've seen some reports of this happening piece, People for people who are using AdSense on these sites. The AdSense code has recently changed which adds height auto important to the iframe of the Elementor preview uh, iframe, which is the editor of the Elementor's iframe. So from now on, you need to use an ad block extension to get into the editor. So ad block is hardly anything that would be very hard to do. I mean, ad blocks you can get for free, so there's no big deal. But if you go into your Elementor window and you don't have ad block installed, this is what it looks like you only get a portion of your window. You don't even get the full window because of the ads. Now, I think that this brings two giant problems to Elementor. Number one, Google is like huge, and I don't foresee them changing their code for Elementor. That's just not gonna happen. It's gonna work on too many sites. I'm not really sure, to be quite honest with you, why they use the important tag for this, the important tag overrides everything in CSS, and that's kind of, I'm sure, where this is causing issues. It, it's kind of stupid to think that it's overriding everything, but I'm sure they do it on purpose. Um, this does only work for ads that are, as they said in here, that have no sizes. So basically, these are the dynamic ads that you see on the side. Uh, AdSense gives you the ability to go in and actually put in dynamic ads which will, which will scale to mobile or responsive or anything like that. So in order to take and fix this, you have to add AdSense. So if somebody's running into this and you haven't reached out yet, you need to take and block the ads on that site. And once you do that and you reload the editor, you will see it'll go back to full page screen, but it only does it once you're blocking the ads because of that that stupid important tag that's in the height, which is hyper annoying that that's based, it's in there. Um, to me, I think that Elementor should just block the ads natively and just make it easier. I don't know why they load them to begin with. I guess so you can see them on the screen, but I'd be fine with Elementor blocking them in the code, but I'm not even sure if that can happen. So, just wanted to let you know this is just a small solution, but for right now, Elementor does not work with AdSense, and that is really, really sad because AdSense is so incredibly popular. So hopefully this helps somebody out, and if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe below. Thanks!